With Jujutsu Kaisen coming to a close, many of us are left wondering, what's next? The mix of complex characters, dark supernatural themes, and high stakes battles is hard to replace. But today, I've got a list of manga that should fill that void. These recommendations have that same thrilling energy, deep world building, and intense action that JJK fans love. Let's dive into them. First, let's talk about Dandadan. Dan. Now, this manga is wild. It blends supernatural battles with a completely unpredictable story. Ghosts, aliens, psychic abilities, it's all here, wrapped up in fast-paced action that's very reminiscent of JJK's early arcs. If you were drawn to JJK for its unpredictability and chaotic fights, Dandadan should be your next read. Next on the list is Ayashimon. Ayashimon is about yokai in the underworld, which instantly hits those JJK vibes. The protagonist Maruo just wants to be a shonen hero Hero, but he finds himself thrown into a crime-riddled world full of supernatural dangers. It's dark, gritty, and explores power in a way that reminds me of how JJK handles cursed energy. The action scenes are brutal and satisfying, so if you're a fan of JJK's intense high-stakes fights, you'll love this one. Now, Phantom Seer is another one that deserves your attention. It follows a reluctant exorcist who gets drawn into supernatural battles. You get the same combination of exorcism lore and modern-day horror horror that made Jujutsu Kaisen stand out. The story goes deeper into psychological horror as it progresses, and while it was unfortunately cut short, it's still worth checking out for fans of that dark exorcism angle. Moving on, Hell's Paradise. Jigokuraku brings that philosophical exploration of life and death, just like JJK. Gabimaru, a deadly ninja, is sent to a mysterious island to find the elixir of immortality, but things get grim fast. The creatures, the dangers, and the intense survival element make it feel a lot like JJK's curses and domain battles. You'll be hooked by the tension and complexity of the battles and moral dilemmas. Of course, I can't leave out Kaiju number 8. If you love the fast-paced, destructive action of JJK, you'll find a lot to love here. It's all about Kaiju, huge monsters, and the protagonist Kafka Habeno who gains the ability to turn into one. The fight scenes are explosive, and the internal struggle Kafka faces mirrors Itadori's own battle with with Sukuna's influence. The series also has a strong focus on teamwork and sacrifice, which JJK fans will appreciate. Sakamoto Days is another standout. You wouldn't expect it, but this action comedy about a retired hitman turned convenience store owner brings some of the best action sequences I've seen lately. The fight choreography is top notch, with the same precision and creativity you'd find in JJK's battles. It's also packed with heart, much like how Itadori fights to protect his friends. For those of you who want something quirky and over the top, Mashal. Magic and Muscles offers a fun alternative. Imagine a world where magic is everything, and the protagonist, Mash, has none. Instead, he punches his way through the challenges. The humor is great, but what really stands out is how Mash overcomes overwhelming odds. Just like Itadori's journey, Undead Unluck takes things up a notch with its unique premise. A girl with terrible luck teams up with an immortal man, and together, they battle through a world full of people with strange abilities. The Unpredictable powers and quirky characters make this feel fresh and dynamic, much like how JJK constantly throws curveballs with its power system. Ruri Dragon is more relaxed but still scratches that supernatural itch. It's about a girl discovering she's part dragon, and while it doesn't have the same battle focus, it dives into the emotional impact of gaining powers, a theme we see a lot in JJK. Gachi Akuta. This post-apocalyptic series throws the protagonist into an abyss where he gains mysterious powers to survive. It's dark, brutal, and filled with tension, much like JJK's most intense moments. If you want that same life-on-the-line feeling that Jujutsu Kaisen brings, Gachiakuta delivers in spades. Up next is Kagura Bachi. This new series has already generated a lot of buzz for its gritty sword fights and dark fantasy elements. It follows a young swordsmith avenging his father's death, bringing a revenge-driven plot that fans of JJK's intensity will appreciate. Expect stunning swordplay, twisted villains, and emotional stakes that'll keep you hooked. Next, Black Torch. This series revolves around a ninja who can communicate with animals, but things take a dark turn when he's forced to fuse with a powerful spirit. 
The combination of ninja skills and supernatural battles makes it a perfect follow-up for fans of JJK's curses and sorcerers. Plus, the art style and action scenes are top tier. Now, let's talk about Fire Punch. This dystopian tale is as brutal as it is thought-provoking. If you love the moral complexity and intense violence of JJK, Fire Punch's dark, post-apocalyptic world and the main character's relentless struggle will resonate with you. It's a haunting series with twists that keep the tension high. Then there's Tokyo Demon Bride Story, which blends slice-of-life comedy with yokai action. A high school student is suddenly approached by a demon girl claiming to be his bride, and from there, supernatural chaos ensues. It's quirky, but offers thrilling battles that'll remind you of JJK's mix of humor and horror. Magus of the Library takes a slower approach to magic and world-building. It's a visually stunning series set in a world where knowledge is power. While it's less about combat, the exploration of magic and its mystery should appeal to fans of the intellectual aspects of JJK's power system. Next is Blue Lock. This is more of a sports series, but the intense psychological battles and high stakes in the world of soccer are reminiscent of JJK's fight scenes. The characters drive to be the best mirrors the same relentless determination you'd find in Gojo or Itadori. World Trigger is another series to check out, with its strategic team-based battles and complex power system. The trigger weapons in this series offer a wide variety of abilities, much like the versatility of JJK's cursed techniques. If you enjoy high-level tactics in your fights, World Trigger has a lot to offer. For something dark, Deadmount Deathplay is a reincarnation story that flips the usual tropes on their head. The protagonist is is the villainous corpse god reincarnated in modern Japan, and the series blends supernatural combat with a sense of looming dread that'll remind you of JJK's more sinister moments. Up next is Freerin, Beyond Journey's End, a fantasy series with a more introspective tone. It follows an elf mage reflecting on her life after her hero party has completed their quest. While it's slower paced, the themes of death, legacy, and emotional growth will resonate with fans of JJK's more reflective moments, particularly the arcs surrounding characters like Nanami or Geto. And that's it for today's list. With Jujutsu Kaisen coming to a close, these manga will definitely keep that itch for intense battles, dark themes, and deep characters alive. Whether you're looking for action, fantasy, or something a little more introspective, these series have something for everyone. So dive into them and let me know in the comments which one you're picking up first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.